Hi and welcome to another Grey Mouse Does Stuff tutorial. My name is Grey Mouse. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the program disk to file. This program allows you to create a image file out of a floppy disk and a floppy disk out of a image file. Let's start right at the beginning. Here's a formatted Protoss disk that I prepared earlier and it has a gzip file of a disk image. The disk image is called m2movie.disk. So we've got a bit of work to do before we can actually use the disk to file program. But the first thing that needs to happen is we need to use gzpk to convert this gzip file into a zip file. Please have a look at my previous two videos about different archive formats. They contain a bit more details about how these programs work. So I don't need to explain a whole lot again. It just makes it a little bit more easier for me to. Alright, let's copy this file to the gzpk floppy disk. Let's see how much space is left on the floppy disk. The file is there. Now we have to convert the gzip file to a zip file. In drive 1 I put in the DaveX program and I put in the gzpk disk into drive 2. We will also need two blank formatted Protoss disks. One of the blank disks will have the dot disk image on it and the other blank disk we will use to make a disk out of an image. Reboot. catalog and start Dave X.
change the volume to the GZPK volume which is in drive 2 catalog and run the program to convert the file just ignore the junk characters as you can see there Let's check the catalog to see if it's created the zip file. Right. Now we need to extract that zip file using Angel to a blank Prodos disk. Reboot with Angel. put the GZPK disk into drive 1 and the blank Prodos disk into drive 2. Press 0 for volumes. That's the one. Press enter. If you, if you look at the bottom of the screen, we need to change the destination to being the blank disk. Press 0. And choose blank 1. Enter. and press tab and now the destination is blank 1 and now we have to change the source back press 0 for volume this one press enter at the top of the screen it now says the source file is this disk and the destination file is the blank Prodos disk. Now we unzip this file onto the blank Prodos disk.
this will require some disk swapping. So put Angel back in. Just follow the on screen prompts. Press enter again. And follow the on screen prompts again. Done. Let's go back to the main menu and check out the disk. Press escape. Just follow the prompts again. Change the volume to the blank disk, so press zero. There we have it. We have a disk image on an Apple II floppy disk, which sounds a bit weird, but there it is. Alright, let's boot into Copy2 Plus and have a look at the file type. Reboot. There we have our 
disk image, but the file type is wrong, saying that it's a text file. Disk to file will have a problem with that, as it needs to be a binary file. I've got a program here called File Attribute Zapper 2, which will allow me to change the file type to the correct one that this to file will recognize. I will pop that into drive one. Here we go, version 2.3, press any key, first thing we need to do is set the volume where the disk file is on, in this case it's on blank 1, so press P. and enter. Now we press C to change the file's attributes. Press F or change complete file type. We want bin, which is a standard binary type. And as you can see at the top of the screen, it's done. So the file type has been changed from a text file into its original binary file ready to use with disk to file. Let's reboot with the disk to file disk in drive 1 and get that file converted back to a blank Protoss floppy disk. Take out the disk to file program out of drive 1. Put the disk with the disk image, the disk file, into drive 2. And put the blank disk into drive 1. First thing we need to do is change the prefix. Press the number 9 and type in the volume label of the disk with the disk images on. Now select the number 2 image file to disk. Now it's asking for the file name. Make sure that your blank disk is in drive 1 and press enter. So 
So this is extracting the image file onto a blank disk in drive 1 and the source file is in drive 2 so it's backwards really. Done. All right. Press any key to return to the main menu. Let's have a look to see if the disk in drive one works by rebooting. And it's working fine. So we have successfully got a disk image and put it back onto a, a floppy using an Apple II without using Apple Disk Transfer. In part two, we'll look at creating a disk file from a Apple disk on an Apple II using disk to file. This is the disk we're going to create a dot disk file from using disk to file. We're going to create a disk image using an Apple II. We start with a blank disk and the disk to file program. Put the disk to file program into drive one and reboot. Now the program's running, let's set it up. In drive 2, put in a blank disk. Next we have to set the prefix, so press 9. And then the volume label for the blank disk. Okay, and press 1. Now it's asking for a file name for the disk image that will be saved on the blank disk. Let's call this press enter.
now put in the AppleWorks disk that we want to create a disk image out of into drive 1. So now it's creating a disk image from the disk in drive 1 onto the disk into drive 2. I really shouldn't call it a disk image but a, d a disk file. Done. So we have successfully imaged a disk without using Apple Disk Transfer. Let's boot up into Copy2 Plus and have a look at the contents of the disk. There we have it. So the next part is how do we get this disk file back to the PC and into the emulator. There are a couple of options. We can use Access 2 to transfer the file over the null modem cable or we could shrink the file and then transfer the shrink it file. Let's, let's use Shrinkit to shrink this file so we can transfer it over the null modem cable. Reboot the computer with Shrinkit 3.4 in, in drive 1. Right, put, put a blank disk into drive 2 and the disk which is containing the disk image or disk file into drive 1.
OK. Select New Archive. And we're going to be working with files. It's the top one, the blank one. Here we have the dot disk file that we're going to shrink. Press spacebar to select the file. And press enter. Where would I like to put the shrinkit file? It's on the blank new dot disk. Now it's asking for a file name. Let's see. Include the extension dot shk and press enter. Okay, finished. Let's reboot into Copy2 Plus and have a look at the file. successfully created
created a shrinkit file. From here you can use the access to and transfer the file over a null modem cable and then you should be able to extract it and use the disk image in the Apple II emulator. We've reached the end of this video. If you found this video useful, please leave me any comments, like it, and feel free to share. This is Grey Mouse signing off.